Hello, welcome to Digit Math. Today we're going to learn about adding two digit numbers. Are you ready? We'll go through 10 questions together, so let's test your skills. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Let's go! 94 plus 37 is... Time to think. 1st, we add the unit's digits, 4 from 94 plus 7 from 37, which equals 11. We write down 1 and carry over 1 to the tens place. Next, we add the tens digits, 9 from 94 plus 3 from 37. Since we have a carryover of 1, we add this as well, resulting in 9 plus 3 plus 1 equals 13. So, the final result is 94 plus 37 equals to 131. 69 plus 24 is time to think. 69 Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 9 plus 4. Adding 9 and 4 gives 13. Place 3 in the units column and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, we have 6. Add the carried over 1 to 6, which equals 7. Add 2 more from the second number's tens, making 9. So the final result is 69 plus 24 equals 93. 37 plus 29 is time to think. 7 plus 29 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 7 plus 9. Um, adding 7 and 9 gives us 16. We place 6 in the units column and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, without the carryover, we have 3 plus 2, which equals 5. Adding the carried over 1, it now becomes 6. So, 37 plus 29 equals 66. 85 plus 66 is time to think. units column, add 5 plus 6, which equals 11. Place 1 in the units column and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, add 8 plus 6, which equals 14. Add the carried over 1 to 14, making 15. Place 15 in the tens and hundreds column. So the final result is 85 plus 66 equals to 151. 59 plus 17 is time to think. 59. To solve the addition, add 59 and 17. In the units column, add 9 from 59 and 7 from 17, which equals 16. Write down 6 in the units place and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, add 5 from 59 and 1 from 17, along with the carried over 1. This equals 7. So the final result is 59 plus 17 equals 76. 68 plus 38 is time to think. 8 plus 8, which equals 16. Put down 6 in the units column and carry over 1 to the tens column. In the tens column, we have 6 plus 3, which equals 9. Add the carried over 1, making it 10. Place 0 in the tens column and carry over 1 to the hundreds column. So the final result is 68 plus 38 equals to 106. 96 plus 28 is time to think. 
Let's go to the solution. In the units column, add six and eight, which equals 14. Place four in the units column and carry over one to the tens column. In the tens column, add nine and two, which equals 11. Add the carried over one, making 12. Place 12 in the tens and hundreds column. So the final result is 96 plus 28 equals 124. 48 plus 68 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, add eight to eight, which sums up to 16. Place six in the units place and carry over one to the tens column. In the tens column, add four to six, which equals 10. Then add the one that was carried over, making it 11. So the final result is 48 plus 68 equals to 116. 88 plus 17 is time to think. In the units column, add 8 plus 7, which equals 15. Place 5 in the units and carry over 1 to the tens tens column. In the tens column, add 8 plus 1 plus 1, carried over, which equals 10. Place 10 in the tens column. So the final result is 88 plus 17 equals 105. 77 plus 39 is time to think. In the units column, we have seven plus nine. Adding seven to nine equals 16. Place six in the units column and carry over one to the tens column. In the tens column, add seven from 70 to three from 30, which equals 10. Add the carried over one to 10, making 11. So the final result is 77 plus 39 equals to 116. Great job! You've just completed 10 questions on adding two-digit numbers. Keep practicing, and you'll become a math pro in no time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digit Math for more fun math lessons. See you in the next video.